Good morning and welcome to this service of Holy Communion for the Sunday following the Feast of the Ascension. This week the Church remembered Jesus' ascension into heaven from the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. We meet in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We listen to our first hymn, All, all Hail the Power the power of Jesus' name. We confess our wrongdoing to Almighty God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God forgive us our sins and bring us each to everlasting life. Amen. The collect for the seventh Sunday of Easter. Sunday after Ascension. Risen, ascended Lord, as we rejoice at your triumph, fill your church on earth with power and compassion, that all who are estranged by sin may find forgiveness and know your peace, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Gospel reading this morning is from John chapter 17. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent, I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them. And they have re received them and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world. 
but on behalf of those you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel reading comes from Jesus' high priestly prayer, where he prays for us all to be one, just as he and his Father are one. He wants us to be unified, to be united in love for him and each other, and in faith. At this time during the pandemic, he is able to fill us with hope, a hope for a better future, for a future free of this pandemic. And one of the readings that I've always found helpful during my life, and indeed in good times and in bad, is the poem Footprints, which I've asked to be printed in next month's Parish Magazine. And I want to read it to you now, for I feel it is enabled to it enables us to be filled with, with hope in this dark time in our history. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each I noted foot footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times there was only one. During the lowest times of my life, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said, Lord, you promised me that you would always walk with me. Why, when I needed you most, would you leave me? And the Lord replied, my precious child, I love you and would never leave you. The times when you have seen only one set of footprints, that was when I carried you. Our Lord promises never to leave us. He constantly prays for us. He goes on praying that we may be one in him as he and the Father are one. So I say again, as I've said throughout this pandemic, that we put our hope and trust in our Lord and he will see us through. Thanks be to God. So let us now pray. Saviour of the world, be present in all places of suffering, violence and pain and bring hope even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation this day. Lord of the Church, empower by your Holy Spirit all Christian people and the work of your Church in every land. Give us grace to proclaim the Gospel joyfully in both word and in deed. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide and enable all who lead and serve this community of Barton and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. Grant that we may seek the peace and welfare of this place and all who live here. Great physician, stretch out your hand to bring comfort, wholeness and peace to all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Fill us with compassion, that we may be channels of your healing love. Here we remember all those who are ill, particularly all those ill with COVID-19, and for those who are caring for them. Conqueror of death, remember for good those whom we love but see no more. Help us to live this day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory over death. We pray that the faithfully departed would rest in peace, and rise in glory. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you. 
which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. On this day, it is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for he is our great high priest who has entered for, for once for all into the heavenly sanctuary, evermore to pour upon your church the grace and comfort of your Holy Spirit. He is the one who has gone before us, who calls us to be united in prayer, as were his disciples in the upper room, while they awaited his promised gift, the life-giving spirit of Pentecost. Therefore all creation yearns with eager longing, as the angels and archangels sing your endless hymn of praise, singing... Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with Nicholas and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we share in one bread. 
bread and wine, God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. God's blessing before our final hymn. The spirit of truth leads you into all truth, give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and the strength to proclaim the word and works of God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, this day and forevermore. Amen. Our second hymn, Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.